What's up, navigation traders? Happy Friday. Today is Friday, November 23rd, the day after Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a great holiday. Take a day off and just kind of relax with the family. I know we had all our family in town and, and just had a great time. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. And hopefully you're not out uh, in this Black Friday retail disaster. I know I will never do that. So <laughs> hopefully you're uh, still spending some time with the family and and, uh, and just kind of recharging the old batteries. Uh, before we jump into the alerts for the week, uh, I wanted to point out a couple things. One is... Uh, we, we made it, we rolled out our new community and it's been awesome. And this is where the, the video that you're watching here, this is where this is going to be posted. So you, you'll probably have already done this, but if you go to VIP, uh, pro group topics, one of the topics is the weekly video update. So that's where we'll be posting these from now on. And then I hope you get involved in the community. It, it's, it's already getting a lot of traction People are uh, engaging, asking a lot of questions, uh, and we're just we're and we're getting a lot of good feedback. We're going to be posting our alerts here as well, so you can always see those, and then you can always just kind of ask questions directly from that alert and get your answers um, a lot quicker. So, and then of course the rest of the community, uh, a lot of different topics and posts that you can join in and on and. Uh, we really look forward to it. It's, uh, it, I think it's going to be a good thing. Second thing I wanted to mention is our uh, Thanksgiving weekend special. Just go to navigationtrading.com forward slash Thanksgiving dash special. And even if you're a current pro member, which if you're watching this video, you are, but if you're at the monthly rate of 149 and you want to lock in for 12 months at the discounted rate, you can do that as a current member as well. That's not just for new folks. So if you want to take advantage of that, we're running that through Cyber Monday, and uh, and uh, then we'll be back to normal pricing. So take advantage of that if you're not already locked in. And let's jump into the alerts. So remember, we did our last weekly update on Thursday of last week, and so I want to go back to Friday and catch the one alert that we did on the 16th where we sold a strangle in SPY. So obviously IV percentile, nice and high at 90 at that point. And so we wanted to sell some premium to take advantage. And let's go to SPY. You can see we're still pretty centered here. Not much not much has happened. Uh, could use a little bit of up movement in SPY and then some more theta to decay on that one. If we take a look at the charts, you can see applied volatility is still, still very high here. So just taking advantage of that high implied volatility. And then starting on Monday, our first trade was a closing trade in forward slash GC where we had a short strangle. Uh, this was a adjusted short strangle. So it was almost a straddle at that point. And then after that, after that adjustment, um, it was at about 20% of max profit on that piece. And so we went ahead and closed that. After all adjustments, we, we booked about a $500 profit on that trade. So good one there. Next trade was a closing trade in XRT. So we had a short strangle in XRT, booked over 45% of max profit on that one. So another good close there. And then uh, next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in the queues. So as the, as the indices and the market has moved down, we wanted to roll down our short call verticals in the QQQ. And in this one, we rolled from December to January, and then we adjusted our strikes down from 173, 176, down to 167, 170. Uh, we were over 50% of max profit on that piece of the trade. And so we just wanted to extend duration and continue to keep that short delta in our overall portfolio. Which, by the way, just to give you kind of an update there, we have a little bit of short delta, but we're fairly delta neutral. Uh, we're trying to keep a little bit in there just in case the market does continue lower, but fairly delta neutral at this point. Uh, and let, let's go ahead and look at the cues here on the platform. So if we take a look, you can see we have this continued downside movement, which is good for our short call verticals. And remember, these were originally part of iron condors. 
and we've just continued to roll them for a couple of cycles to keep that short delta. And here's the one that we rolled out to January. So now it's at the 167, 170, and it's even moved down a little bit since then. So we'll just continue to hold and wait on this one. And then we've got another piece of that trade, which we'll get to here in just a second. But let's just keep our order here. Uh, next trade being a closing trade in EWZ. So we had a short strangle in EWZ. Booked over 35% of max profit. We were in the trade for less than two weeks. So nice trade there. Closed out of that one. And then the next trade was our other QQQ trade. As the market continued to go down that day, we went ahead and rolled our other set of short call verticals. In this case, we stayed in the December cycle. Uh, still had 32 days so instead of rolling this one out to January as well, we just kept this one in December just to kind of diversify our time to expiration. And so let's take a look at that one. And again, since we've done this, price has moved down a little bit more. So we've got some, some profit in this piece as well. So we'll just continue to do the same thing. If this one continues lower, we'll go ahead and roll this one out to January next time. Uh, so right now there's 28 days left to expiration in that December cycle. 56 in January. So if this can, if price continues lower in the queues, we will roll our strikes closer to current price and we'll roll out to January. So stay tuned for that. Uh, just kind of play the price depending on what happens. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in Facebook. So we had a uh, short strangle on in Facebook and price moved down. So we rolled down our calls. Uh, we stayed in December uh, with that 31 days to expiration at that point and simply just roll down our calls. So let's take a look at Facebook. You can see it's it's still within our range. It bounced back a little bit, and now we're just uh, kind of playing the waiting game, letting, letting some of that theta decay. Similar to the uh, um, QQQs, we're in December of 28, and so as we get closer to that 21 days to expiration, in this case, we will be rolling out to January. Next trade was rolling adjusting trade in CL, so one of our problem children here in oil. So in this case, oil continued lower, so we rolled down the calls in one of our short strangles. Uh, this ex expiration cycle, uh, January, only had 24 days to expiration. Remember, once we get down to around that 21 days, we also like to roll out the next expiration cycle. So we did that out to Feb, which had 57 at the time. And so we rolled down our calls and we rolled out and so let's take a look at that position now. Oil has since moved uh, even lower since then. It's down, you know, over, it's down about 6.75% just today. And so let's take a look at that one. We've got two pieces to this trade. Uh, we've got this one and this one. Let me reset this so I can check on the correct strikes here. So let's uncheck this one and this one. So this is the one that for the alert that I just mentioned. So you can see prices down here, still in, in the range here, need a little bit of up movement in oil and some more time to pass before we do anything. But now we're out in February, so we've got a lot of time to let that theta decay. And then I'll get to the other piece when I get to the alert here. Let's move on to the next trade. Uh, and this one, it was in Apple. So Apple is continuing lower. So we, uh, we have that long put vertical that we originally put on for, for short delta in our portfolio. And it's finally starting to work in our favor. So we, we took our long put vertical and we rolled it from December out to January. And then we rolled our strikes closer to the current price. So if we take a look at Apple, here's what that looks like now. It's moved down a little bit since then even. Uh, so we've got a little bit of profit there. So we'll just continue to play that same game. If it continues lower, we'll roll our our uh, strikes down closer to price again and roll out to January. So kind of the same theme throughout a lot of these. Next trade, rolling adjusting trade in XLK, kind of a very similar situation to, uh, to Apple. We had a long put vertical that we originally put on for that short delta and we rolled from December to January. We were well over 50% of max profit on that piece. So it just made sense to lock in that credit and continue to extend duration in that trade to keep that short delta. So let's take a look at XLK. And you can see price is pretty close to where we did it. So just waiting for a little bit more downside to benefit that trade. 
Next one. Uh, oh, I did it. Oh, yeah. All right. So in Apple, I had to do a little bit of a trade correction, and I apologize. I, and I didn't even catch it this time as I was going through the alert. Instead of rolling out from December to rolling out to January, we accidentally rolled to the next weekly expiration. So we rolled from our December with 31 days and accidentally rolled to December 28th with 38 days to expiration. So this was just a, a fat finger mistake on my part. And the thing is, if if we were in a symbol that wasn't as liquid in these weeklies, I would have just immediately closed it out and recorrected it and send it out to January where we originally wanted to. But with Apple, I mean, the weeklies are very liquid. And so I didn't have any issue with just keeping this one on. So let me go back to Apple and kind of reiterate what we, we've got here. Instead of the January, we're in the weekly December 28th. So if this does continue lower, we will just roll out to January um, and not and not be in the weeklies. We when we do this, we like to stay in the monthlies because there's just more liquidity, tighter bid ask spreads. But in certain symbols like Apple, it's not a huge deal to roll out to the weeklies. But just to stay consistent, we try to stay in the monthlies. In this case, we made a little bit of a mistake. But instead of you know wasting the transaction cost to close it out and reopen it in January, it just made sense to keep it here. So we'll just we'll continue to monitor Apple and manage as needed. And like I said, if it continues lower, we'll go ahead and lock in that credit. If it does bounce higher, then we'll just kind of continue to wait and play the waiting game and then roll out to January as we get closer to expiration. So not a huge issue, uh, but just wanted to make sure that you understood what, what happened there with that trade correction. Next trade was an opening trade in gold. So implied volatility stayed high. We wanted to get back into gold to add some exposure there. In this case, we did an iron condor. And uh, we did this in January with 35 days to expiration. So let's take a look at that piece. It hasn't moved much since we put it on. And so you can see we're still very centered in our iron condor here. So just playing the waiting game. And lastly, the trade that we did this morning on Friday morning was we, we did another roll in forward slash CL. So uh, with the price movement going down again today, we continue to roll our calls down. And in this case, we only had 21 days to expiration in January. So we went ahead and rolled out to February with 54 days to expiration. So we simply just rolled our calls from 61 down to 58, kept our puts the same at the 63 and a half strike. So now we, hold, now we hold the 58 call and the 63 and a half put. So I went over the other, the other alert, and so let's uncheck these and check on. I got to reset it again, and uh, and reset these so I can. So let's look at the 58 and the 63 and a half. So that's what that's what it looks like now. So if we get some up movement in oil, obviously obviously that's going to help us, and just wait for some more theta to decay. I, I went over this uh, last week, and I, I want to reiterate. We are going to stay mechanical. There's some. There's been some discussion on nat gas and oil in the community about you know should we uh, you know get rid of our short calls because they're taking up a lot of capital and just buy puts. And you know if you're in a situation where your capital availability isn't there, you know I I guess that is an option to to uh, use for an adjustment. But we don't we don't like to buy options, especially with with implied volatility at 100. If we look at USO, the corresponding ETF, and we look at that chart, I mean, implied volatility is at 100, IV rank and IV percentile at, are at 100. If you buy a put, you know, I mean, and, and implied volatility starts to contract, then you're going to get hurt on the implied volatility contraction, and unless it moves quickly, you know, further down in your direction. You know, that, that's just going to hurt you. Now, of course, if it does move quickly down and it continues down, you know, fairly quickly, then those puts will, bu buying those long puts will help, but that's just not what we're going to do. If you decide that from your risk tolerance, from your buying power, from your, you know, other positions that you have, if you make the decision that that makes sense, then you can do it, okay? So you need to take ownership of your specific positions but for us, we're, we're going to continue to stay mechanical and manage as, as needed. And remember, I mean, 
this has been a huge slide, a huge one directional move with very little pullback. But just remember, I mean, this isn't, it's not going to go down forever, right? Oil is not going to go to zero. And so you've got to stay mechanical. You got to keep your position size small, which obviously with these options on futures, these are larger contracts. And so you just, you just need to make sure you're sizing adequately for your overall position. Uh, excuse me, your overall account size. All right, so those are all the alerts. Let's take a look at some of the other positions. We've got a long put vertical in ES, the S&P 500. And you can see uh, we've got, it's moved down, so we've got some profit on this piece of the trade. Continuing to roll and keep this for that short delta exposure, uh, but we'll just kind of hold this for now. If it moves much lower and we get kind of over that 50% of max profit, we will lo uh, roll our strikes down closer to price, lock in that credit, and then potentially roll out to January. Once we get to, you know, we're at 28 days here in December. If we look at the continuous contract here, that's when you'll be able to see uh, how many days are in the next expiration cycle. And we've got about, what is it, 50 some, uh, the platform's updating here, but yeah, 56. So. As, we, as if price moves lower, we'll go ahead and roll that out to January to keep that short delta exposure. And I mentioned gold, Natty Gas. So Natty Gas is our other problem child. And we've got two pieces on here. We've got the 4.1 put and the 3.1 call. So this is an inverted strangle. And we're just kind of holding this, letting that theta decay and hopefully get a little bit of downside movement. You know, uh, inverse to oil, Nat gas has made the big move up. So we're looking for price to just kind of settle, settle down here. Obviously, if it goes down, that's going to benefit us. Excuse me. But also, if, if price just kind of stays, you know, settles down and kind of bounces around in a range, give us the opportunity to roll for a couple cycles and get back some of those, some of those losses that we've seen in, in Natty gas. So that's one piece. And then we've got our other piece here, which is the 4.05 put and the, and the uh, four even call. So slightly inverted, but you can see here, it's almost like a straddle price is right here. So just waiting for some more time to pass and the same thing. Then we'll roll out to the next cycle, continue to collect those credits and, uh, and, and recoup what we've got here. So again, we're just going to stay mechanical, stick with the program uh, we've seen this happen before. I mean, we've seen this movie before, and the only way in our mind to continue to, you know, recoup, you know, after a huge move like that is just to stay mechanical. Next piece is wheat. We've got an iron condor on here. We could use a little bit more upside to benefit that piece, and we'll just continue to manage that as needed. I mentioned Apple, DIA, the Dow. So we've got... We're, we're going to hold this for now, but um, you know, come Monday, we'll probably roll this down. It's a little bit over 50% of max profit, but instead of rolling today, you know, the market closes early, and I just want to make sure that uh, you know, we just keep this on. And so we're just going to hold on to this. If, if price moves lower or even stays right where it is, what we'll do on uh, Monday is roll these strikes closer to price, and then on one of them, we'll roll out to January, and one we might stay in December you know, depending on where things are. So we've got that one with four contracts. We've got this one with three, which is pretty similar situation. Uh, not quite as high of a percentage of the max profit, uh, but just continuing to keep these on for that short delta exposure. EEM, uh, this one is right at about 50%, almost at 50% of max profit. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be basically back to break even on this trade overall. So we may consider just taking it off uh, for a round to break even, or we will potentially roll out. We'll probably roll out because we've got high implied volatility. Uh, we want to keep exposure. We've, we've kind of cut down some of our positions because we closed them out earlier this week. Uh, you know, so keeping some of those positions and exposure in those emerging markets uh, makes sense. So look for that next week. EFA, we put this short call vertical on for some short delta exposure, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's well within our range. We've got a little bit of profit on this piece of the trade, and so if we get some more uh, into early next week, we'll either take that off or continue to roll, depending on the rest of our portfolio. 
EWW, so we've got two pieces to this one, and this is a an adjusted short strangle. You can see price, and I got a question on this. Uh, you know, price has moved outside of our break even here, but remember, after we make an adjustment, those break evens are really irrelevant. Really, what we are looking at is how much premium is left in those untested sides. So we look at if we look at just the call. See, we have just the call checked here. You can see we've still got a decent amount of premium left in there. We've got a max profit of 324, and we've got a current profit of about 193. So once once we get to a point where there's very little premium left in these options, that's when we'll that's when we would roll down again. And again, we're in December here, still have 28 days. So once we get down to around 21, then we would look to roll out to January. But for now, we're just continuing to hold and wait. And then we've got our other piece of this trade, which is a, a strangle that has not been adjusted. And you can see price is just kind of hanging out here. Could use a little bit of up movement and, uh, and some more time to pass to benefit that one. I mentioned Facebook, FXI. So we've got two butterflies on in FXI. We've got a call butterfly and a put butterfly. We're looking at the put butterfly right here and you can't really see the notch, but price is right here on the break even point. So if we could get a little bit of down movement here and book a profit, that would be what we're looking for on that piece. But then we've also got our call butterfly, which price is hanging out in the lower end of the range. So what we're hoping for in FXI is that price just kind of plays a little bit of ping pong action, bounces back and forth. Maybe we close one out for a profit. Hopefully price you know bounces back, close the other one out for a profit. If we check on all the boxes to look at this position as an aggregate, it basically looks like an iron condor, right? We've got the, the range here and then our defined risk on the outside. So it's right in the middle of both of, our, both of our pieces. So just waiting for some more time to pass on that one. Then IWM, we've got an iron condor. We've got a little bit of profit on this piece. Uh, we are close. Uh, we're, we're still down a little bit on the iron, uh, IWM iron condor overall. But uh, price is still well within our range here. So just playing the waiting game in IWM. In IYR, uh, we're almost at a point where we can take this off. I and mean, we, we're actually up pretty good on this trade overall. We've had a few adjustments that we've done. So if we took this off right now, we'd, we'd book a really nice profit. Just, but just waiting for a little bit more uh, profit on this piece of the trade before we take that one off. I mentioned the Q's, SMH. Uh, so this we've got a strangle on here. We've made a few adjustments, uh, closed, took, taken off, rolling adjustments, uh, rolling closing trades, excuse me, adjusting closing trades, adjusting opening trades. So we're just waiting for a little bit more profit before we take this off. We're still down slightly on this one, but pretty close to, to getting back to profits on SMH. I mentioned SPY and I mentioned XLK. So those are all the alerts. Those are all the positions that we have. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll get back to trading on Monday. And again, be sure to uh, to join the community and get engaged. We're getting a lot of uh, good conversations going on. So look forward to having you, specifically our pro members, jump in there and, and, uh, and uh, get engaged with the rest of the community. So thanks, everybody. Have a great Thanksgiving. We are very thankful for you, our pro members, and uh, and can't wait to see what what's coming in the in the next months. Talk to you soon.